My name is Corbin Reinhardt. I am a free runner. And one night, my luck ran out. What did I do? What did, what did I do? When you find out what happened next, you might just think I'm superhuman. Free running is the art of using aerobatics and style to be creative within an environment. It is beautiful, it is graceful, and dangerous. We are now bloody! I was just 14 years old living in LA when I first saw some videos. I was captivated. I started imitating what I saw and became good at it. I see the world around me and I think, how cool would it be to jump or flip off of that? Becoming a free runner takes patience. What looks like a rush of quick, spontaneous movements is actually the accumulation of countless hours of training. This is a sport where as an athlete, you need to approach it step by step. Because if you slip, your life can change forever. I have spent thousands of hours practicing free running, practicing a basic move again and again and again, making it routine. Yeah. I'm always looking for the craziest landscapes, the biggest obstacles. See where your momentum takes you. Add some flair and do something different. Wow. The life isn't always simple. Oh. One night, my luck ran out. I didn't land on my feet. Actually, the opposite. I reached for the bars and slipped. Not enough chalk on my hands. I had done this move countless times. All that preparation, one mistake. I landed on my head, smacked straight into the wooden wall. Oh. Lay him out flat. He went straight into his neck. Call on, call on. I got immediate medical attention, but the head trauma was intense. I remember thinking, what just happened? What happened to, what happened to me? What happened to you? You slipped off the bar and you fell off. Right? No. Did I really? Yeah. yeah. What happened? You slipped off the bar. So what did I do? What did, what did I do? What went wrong? Could I get up? Shake it off? Finish this tour? But the answer was blunt. I needed to learn how to walk again. I fractured my skull. My brain was hemorrhaging. In the days after I woke, I had to use a walker and couldn't speak properly due to brain damage. I hit me out of the uh, uh, I could, yeah. With the help of physical and speech therapy, I gradually started to feel normal again. And just 16 days after the accident, I started my comeback. My memory's still a little bit foggy, and my hearing's at 80% in my right ear, but I won't let that stop me from being like I was 14 years old, going back to the basics. My motivation is clearer now. I'm a better athlete than I was before the injury. Oh, what? I still take risks, but I'm more calculated. It is mentally difficult to try my old moves again. While there's nothing more humbling than a serious accident, now I appreciate every moment more. Every laugh I share with my teammates at the gym. Once, I couldn't walk. Now I push myself to a higher level. Once, I couldn't speak. But now, I hope to inspire anyone struggling to get back up. And I know, as soon as my feet hit the ground, I'm ready to jump again. I am Corbin Reinhardt. I run and jump off of everything. And I am superhuman. That's right! Catch.